How do you think uh, asset-based uh, and project finance differ from mainstream ship finance? To start with, thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, share a few thoughts with uh, Capital Link and your audience. In fact, what we now call uh, mainstream finance uh, it used to be the traditional asset-based and project finance. Uh, for uh, reasons mostly related to regulatory changes, uh, banks moved away from the asset-based industries into the corporate uh, type of uh, financing, simply because uh, new regulations that have been introduced, Basel III, Basel IV, have uh, promoted the uh, explosion, the increase of uh, corporate finance available to companies. On the other hand, we as alternative financiers now provide what used to be mainstream asset-based finance. We call it specialized finance in the past, but in reality, we're looking at the asset and we're looking at the ability of the asset to produce cash flows. So I would call it mainstream finance for shipping purposes. So what do you think are the main advantages uh, you offer and what is your target client group? A few months ago, or maybe even less, a couple of weeks ago, Thanasis Martinos, a very well-known uh, Greek uh, ship owner, uh, mentioned that he is concerned by the lack of entry of new ship owners, new ship owning names in the industry. That is again mostly related to the fact that the conditions for uh, the industry, for setting up new companies, and especially for financing new companies, have changed. This makes it more difficult for new companies to uh, incorporate themselves and expand. So I consider our role as a shipping lessors similar to the role of venture capitalists uh, in uh, fintech or, or clean tech or other industries. In fact, what we do is we match money supply with demand uh, for capital. And in doing that, we actually allow smaller companies, small and medium enterprises, also to be able to achieve their growth and expansion goals. In fact, if I may add, if I look at the Neptune leasing as a matter of fact, what we provide to our clients is number one, funding, uh, number two, uh, predictability, and number three, and important is speed. So the combination of predictability, funding, and speed makes our offering a, a relatively unique. And it makes it also unique because, of course, we come uh, totally from a shipping pedigree. The whole team has been uh, involved in shipping finance for the best part of their careers. And as such, we understand totally the cyclicality of the industry as well as the intricacies of the trade. Now, how do you see the alternative finance evolving? How do you see the alternative finance evolving? Well, as I said, what we now call alternative finance is gradually becoming mainstream. As larger banks are focusing on corporate funding, corporate finance, we, the lessors, the alternative financiers, are slowly becoming the bread uh, and butter of the financing industry for shipping. So I see the future being very bright. I see specifically the ship leasing business expanding very rapidly in the next years to follow a similar trajectory that the aviation leasing business followed over the past 40 years. And for those that don't know, the aviation leasing industry today finances 55% almost of the global aircraft fleet and we hope and believe, and we're going to work on it, so that the ship leasing industry also reaches similar levels going forward.